It smells like trouble. I want you to move out of the way in a second. Problem is that they will really take a lot of effort to take down. And I just still deploy this? No. It's fine. Pop out, take the sniper shot. This is really the main thing, is having the sniper here to try and pop this thing off. Gotcha. Okay, there we go. Now they're going to die. Let's move you forward. Now they can't regenerate. It's over for them. Equipment destroyed. The Iconoclast is gone. Let's just make sure that we're facing forward once again. It is attack, yeah. Uh, that's true, actually. We can probably be a lot more aggressive. Let me just double-check, because I haven't really looked at the armor here. Um, armor 40 for the body. Armor 33 for the head. Armor 35 for the legs. So, the only part of their body that could be damaged by a shotgun is the head. Granted, you know, you don't really want them to damage the head, but... It being a thing. Loud and clear. Can I narrow that down to just them? Yes, I can. I got this covered. Perfect. All set. Have you recovered yet? No, still going down. So that virus rifle, though. Wow, it basically took one of my operatives straight out of the battle. Take the shot. Not bad luck. Target it was a good eff uh, effort, though. Well, they took off 15 damage. Must have clipped the side a little bit. How about... I jump in, and then I smack them with this rifle. I mean, it's, it's a machine gun. I'm going to smack them in the face with a machine gun. As expected. Perfect. Smells like truck. We can't run over things, unfortunately. They, or at least as far as I'm aware, they can't. They, you can't bulldoze enemies. I did try earlier, but they'll just drive around them. Much sadness, I know, but there we are. Cover your will points. Just keep doing it over and over and over. Rest. Oh, sniper. Can you get into a position where you're going to be able to actually snipe? Not this turn, but maybe next turn. I cannot afford to put you somewhere where they can get an easy shot, though. You've got no armor. Are they bailing? Oh, yeah, they, they ran away. They evacuated. They probably ran out of ammo. Well, we only saved 80% of structures, but we did get two level ups. One for Malachi and one for Camel Spider, so... Oh, no, they don't respawn in this. They were attacking the Haven, so they don't get a... Uh, yeah, they did despawn, uh, Marine Mage. Usually, if they are wounded and they there's no way of them attacking, they're just going to bleed out. They'll try and 
uh, evacuate and also um, like if they've got no means to heal themselves they'll just try to leave uh, likewise if they run out of ammo or their their only means of attack has been disabled they'll try to leave as well I'm hopeful that we'll collect the stuff on the ground automatically. I might be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I was fairly certain that we were going to. So we got an Iconoclast. We got another Iron Fury. That's nice. Got a Cyclops um, magazine. Don't know what the Cyclops is yet, but... I think that actually makes us positive with... Uh, New Jericho. Let's have a look. Yeah, it does. We're actually friendly with New Jericho, wow. Well, I mean, you know, not really friendly per se, but... Okay, I would like... Oh, they will only trade for food. Should have paid attention to that. Right, there's a couple of missions that we can go and do. But right now, I'd actually like to go back and maybe... Switch out our gear. Don't know. But let's have a look. What are we kind of researching? Neurotoxin weapons. We've got a lot of tech there, which is very nice. Um, given that... Well, let's go first and take our level up. So, first and foremost... Quick aim is super duper useful. We'll take that, but I will then spend a bunch of points on increasing speed. Next, Camel Spider. At this point, we can get the Berserker training. But we're going to hold off and see what Infiltrator offers us. But that's really expensive, so we're going to just basically sit on Camel Spider's level for now. Uh, right, so there are some things we need to do with this group. Holy crap, that was close. Unnecessarily close. First and foremost, let's get you some better equipment. There you are. I like it. Do I want to heal you? Are you even actually wounded? I could make new mutoids, and I could give... a base class of Berserker. But let's see what else we can do. I think we've got options. Uh, Butter's Raid's got to level up. Realistically, I think Rapid Clearance has to be the one we go for. And I also think I want to give them an Assault Rifle. I could pick up Mark for Death, actually, as well, for excessive tactical options. Yeah, let's go for it. There we are. At this point, I would like them to have an assault rifle, though. And for that, I'm going to need to dump a couple of points in. We're going to drop the... Well, I really want to drop the pistol, but... Um, we'll drop the grenade. This is going to give me a lot more options, especially with rapid clearance. Is it possible to be allied with all factions at once? I don't know. I don't think so.
Well, I mean... I'm not trying to make New Jericho like me, but I don't want Havens to die because Havens are populations. And the Doom Clock is based on the human population. It doesn't care about affiliation. So in that regard, I do want to make sure that people are okay. Well, let's get you some bloody armor, eh? First and foremost, armor. Secondly, Odin legs are good. Golem armor is not good for you. <laughs> let's find someone with heavy training. You, for example. You've got heavy training, which means you can use a jump jet if I want to give one to you. Also, on that note, you really need to swap these back around. My lord, that kind of messed me up. Let's go that. There we go. Is there anyone else with, with heavy training? Anubis has got heavy training. Hmm. I mean, I might as well give them uh, jump jets. If they've got heavy training, they, they may as well be able to fly. I think there's no reason for us not to go with that. That means you can have the Synedrian armor. There you go. That at least gives you armor. Uh, you still don't have any leg armor, though. I'll give you the priest armor. It doesn't really suit, but you're rolling with it for now, mate. Well, I mean, I guess it would be possible. I think the, the main issue is quite often the threshold missions when you want to improve in alliance levels involve running a mission against the other factions, so it would require a lot of juggling to achieve. Like an awful lot. But I guess it would be possible, yeah. Is there any way for me to give more ammo? We don't know. I look at vehicles. I can make the turrets, but I don't think I can make extra ammo for them. What the hell is that? A mute dog. Um... I think the game just spoiled itself for me. <laughs> Damn it, game! Yeah, I don't think you can reload vehicle weapons, sadly. It's just the way that that is. Oh well. Uh, okay, so this group does need to go and chill out at base. Pandoran Intelligence Report. Haven reports and scientific observations have identified new Pandoran mutations. The following analysis is available. The Arthron Brute Alpha and the Arthron Scourge. Okay. The Brute Alpha. Oh my lord, that thing looks terrifying. Hit points 180, will points 14, movement 25. Species classification A Alpha 1. An enhanced variation of the brute mutation with enhanced melee capabilities. Reports state that the creature has an evolved pincer limb capable of considerable damage. 95! For one hit point. If it could get to you with anything less than three movement points to do it, it could one-shot anyone. Wow. And the Arthron Scourge. The first type of Arthron that has adapted to use grenades. 
Um, the exact method of this process remains unclear, but somehow they managed to transform all human weapons and incorporate them into their bodies. Is that got a grenade launcher arm? I don't... What? Why do you do this to me? Okay, that's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. My lord. Oh, there's an active Pandoran flyer. Um, should I drop off my units? I want to see what... Let me... No. Ah, oh, god damn it. I think I should. And then head out to try and take it out. Production of the Goliath is complete. Alright, okay. First and foremost... Personnel. I want you all in Tata Creator, please. If you fit. You do, thank goodness. Alright, all of you, heal up and get skills. Uh, ooh, Trivenix has gained a skill. Nice. Quarterback, gain 25% grenade range and plus two speed. That's actually very nice, because that's cheaper than it would cost me to gain two speed points. So, yes. Thank you. But I now want Newtalot to go and try and deal with that. Move. Right. What I would like for you is to re-equip Zenziora. I've got Afterburners, which gives us the ability to dodge. However, right now I want to make you more of a troop transport. The fact we've got these weapons, I don't really intend to use you for that, so I could actually pop these on, on my other... Um, hmm. Should I equip these weapons on our current ship? I think I should. You know what? Sure. Do you escape? I'm going to have you head back quickly. Now Air Force, I want you to re-equip. Right, so I've got uh, Gadfly rocket pods. I've got to get really close, but they'll launch a burst of six missiles every 13 seconds, each one doing 110. The railgun will fire once every 13 seconds for just 120, but it can do, it, can do it from twice as far away. I could pop a Nomad air-to-air -air missile on this. Shred damage 10 every 13 seconds. That only has a burst of 1. This has a burst of 6. Burst of 1, burst of 1. I think I would like to be all about the uh, long range if I can. Uh, John Nee, no, I absolutely have heavy chest armor on my uh, on my peeps. Go. There we are. Neurotoxin weapons. The uh, synthetic neurotoxin has been developed, which will allow us to paralyze targets without killing them. Uh, that has given. Oh, it has only given us the the pistol. Okay, well, still, that's not terrible. We're now researching the inf infiltrator class. Happiest of days. Ooh, Zenzi Aurora, fully healed and rested. Okay. Now, as I was mentioning, I kind of feel that I shouldn't be taking out my AA team all the time. But... Don't really have a lot of choice. Simply put. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take our A-team over here to the uh, mist area here. And take on this fort. We've got a mission there. Saving Helena. 
Let's just make sure that this group is as good as we want them to be. Brithnoth is pretty amazing. Uh, let's see. Have you got... Have we got any other golem armor? We don't. Okay. I, th I think that's probably as good of a team as we're going to get right now. Man, I haven't played in a very long time since migrating from Game Pass version to year one on Steam, but I'm afraid I'm going to need to restart to get all these newer things Africa's playing with. <laughs> yeah. It, it definitely has changed a lot. Well, take care, Avocado Witch It was lovely having you in chat. Also, the Aussie Gamer, thank you very much for the subscription there. Second month, best month, mate. The Aussie Power Uh Who were killed in action? I haven't lost anyone yet. Oh, you're talking about uh, the people that died in yours, you know, not to play through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, makes sense. Uh, I'm not going to wait around for the Infiltrator class before I get out there and start fighting. It is time for us to send our troops to go help. Okay, saving Helena. Fort Target. Mission briefing. Our latest intelligence suggests that New Jericho is keeping Dr. Lewandowski in a high security lab. Secure the compound so that we can get the doctor and her invaluable work out of the hands of Tobias West. How would I feel about losing a guy? I never play a game that isn't Iron Man. I often don't select Iron Man as a uh, an option in game unless I'm very confident about the game's stability. Uh, but I don't play anything other than Bronze Man when it comes to you know if I haven't uh, expressly selected Iron Man, uh, sometimes called Honor Man, just means that I don't reload. That being said, if I'm playing a long series and in a game where uh, it's balanced around it, like, for example, roguelikes, uh, where you just start again or something like that, I mean, you know, that's fine. I don't just throw the game away or anything, but um, in regards to uh, things like Star Sector, I would reload if everything was gone. But even if I lost like my capital vessels and things like that, and I and I the game continued because I survived, I wouldn't reload that. That's just part of the game. But in a game like um, Star Sector, where it's more sandboxy, if I've gotten through, um, you know, I've taken my only fleet out and that entire fleet got wiped, that's game over. I might reload the battle, but I might not try particularly hard. And from that point on, I would probably be much more. Fast and loose with experimenting, because as far as I'm concerned, you know, mentally speaking, uh, we've already lost that game. We're just now in alternate timelines to see what could have been. Right, starting this mission. Let's have a quick look at the units. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else we're going to want. I can't put that one in there, sadly. Not going to need this. We're not going to be taking captives. Um, is there anything I could give you? Uh, you've got troop. You've got assault rifle training. Um, there's no point in being sniperist. I don't think. Uh, I guess having the shield on your back at all times. I don't think there's anything else to give you. Uh, Mega Soon. We have now got this. So. We've now got two people who can fly up pretty high and then just rain death down, which is amaze balls. And at this point, it is now worth us getting Boom Blast. There we are. I could easily see you spending most of your time up high 
just raining death down with grenades. Also, if we pick up snipers, considering we've gotten self-defense specialist, we've basically got a sniper class as far as weapon proficiencies go. Not a terrible choice. Not a terrible choice. Um, uh, Brithnoth, you've got 40 soldier XP. I mean, I know I'm going to need a chunk for this, but let's increase your willpower a little bit more. Uh, Butters Ray. I think you're pretty well set up. Oh, yeah, these are the uh, advanced bionics from, I believe, New Jericho. Not really worth it, in my opinion. Compared to the others, I think the others are just straight up better. Anubis. We do not have better armor. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, I would like to get some better armor for it, to be fair. Right, let's swap that out for a much better weapon there. And I will also give the, the Iron Fury handgun. In fact, do I have any more Iron Fury? I don't. But bear that in mind. This dragon is fine. Yeah, I want to get some more Iron Furies then in that case. Would also like to get some more of the uh, Sinetrian sniper weapons. But that seems about right. All items on the battlefield will automatically be recovered. We are going to be in an area where we're going to uh, get corruption, though. Uh, they will hunt for you while, uh, Wild ha uh, Hamilton. But they have to know that you're there for them to start hunting. So, for example, if you're undetected, they're not alert to you at all. They're not going to start moving in any direction. But the moment you start making noise and actively killing enemies, then the other enemies in the group will start to wander in that general direction. Kill them all in one go, you win the game. Well, I mean, if that's the objective. But the stealth system in this is, is much more based on at what range is someone alert to you. So if you've got a very stealthy team, then you're going to be able to go for quite some time. Nope, they, they really don't, Wild. They will spot you if you make noise. It's really that simple. You don't need to be aware of them for them to be aware of you. And the moment they're aware of you, then anyone, any of the other enemies that see them is also aware of you. They basically communicate. If a completely detached squad is the other side of the map, then they won't be aware of you, even if you have engaged other ones. But the more noise you make and the louder you are, the more likely they are to become aware. But the stealth, the stealth system is unfortunately quite uh, obfuscated. It isn't well documented even within the game. A lot of it has come from people trialing and erroring the system to, to work out how stealth works. Right. But before we jump into the next mission, it's time for a tea break. We've come up to the six hour mark, and I need to go and refill my cup. And I should imagine that a couple of you will need to do the same thing. I will be back in about five minutes. This is a chance for you to get up, stretch your legs, go and grab a drink. And when we return, let's see if we can rescue a scientist. See you soon. Okay. Let us jump 
into this mission. I think we've got a pretty solid squad at this point. I don't believe we need to cure them, though we probably will need to cure them after this mission. We're going to bring all of the equipment back with her, back with us rather, so we don't need to worry about picking any of it up. One of the big things that I like in the terms of the tactical layer in this game compared to the modern Firaxis remakes is the fact that I can shoot where I know an alien is, but where I can't see one. If I've got a weapon that can go through a wall, I can shoot where the alien is on the other side of that wall and the weapon will go through the wall. That is a very, very nice one. Right, I've already got one enemy in sight. It's going to be New Jericho we're fighting against. Secure the area. Dr. Helena Lewandowski must survive. Where is Dr. Helena Lewandowski? That's worrisome. I don't know. Okay. Unless she be with me. She do not be with me. Sad. All right, Brithnoth, where can I jump you to? I can jump you quite far. Well, I might have to take that option in a moment. First. Ready. Eyes you can already see them, and I can probably already pop that arm off. So, let's do this. Please, no one. Huh, Watch luck. that. Okay, you hit their gun. So you didn't even do damage to them, but the gun is... Oh, so close. So shockingly close to destroyed. Let's charge forward. Pistol. Preparing to fire. Aim for the gun at this point. Missed. Ah! No, you didn't. You did exactly what I needed you to do. Thank you very much for taking the gun out. Uh, you can be in Overwatch for the next turn. Now. Ready. Ready, willing, and able. Let us charge forward. Let's see what we got. Now, my guess is that we are going to be fighting. Actually, I kind of want to see how this would work. Watch this. Oh, wow, that arc is not far. Oh, sorry, it's not, um, not small. That's amazing. This is glorious. I deeply approve. Come get some. This point, you could do some staggering amounts of damage. I could mark for death, but I don't think I'm going to need to. So I'm just going to pull this off twice. Go for the leg, maybe. Pop that off. The arm. Uh, let's go for the leg. Did you miss? Why do I even bother with snipers? Acquiring targets. Okay, finally. Very much like you to charge through. And follow through. Now, the reason why I don't just, you know, now they haven't got a gun. Oh, okay. Well, do I need to fight them at all? You kind of do, because they can still hold grenades. Actually, I'm not even sure. Yeah, they've still got a purification grenade. So, don't really want to let them get too close, if I can at all avoid it. 
That's for you. Up there we go. And you as well, please. See a techie. See a sniper. That's not great. Um. I guess I'm gonna kind of want to be down here. Uh. Receiving. I could dash to get out of the immediate danger of dealing with the sniper. I'm somewhat tempted to. Yeah. Now, was there anything in here that I spotted? No. I'm going to have you overwatch through that window. I want you overwatching over there. You don't need to. Nor do you. Come on. What's our plan? You can overwatch. Oh. Interesting, you don't actually have that ability yet. Hmm. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. That's your that's your assault weapon. Never mind. My bad. I was going to say, how on earth do you not have that ability when you've got the other skills? I got this covered. Right, would like you overwatching down here. Actually, kind of overwatching this whole area if we can. You definitely overwatching down here. Uh through that doorway. Area covered. All right, let's see how this goes. <gasps> Ouch. I've got to find the scientists and I have no idea where they are. Attempt. Okay, deploying turrets, which is annoying. Here come the fight. Uh. Balls. That was what I was worried about. Okay. To dash away from all of that nonsense, aren't they? Disabled head, bleeding all over, on fire. Now, can a med kit fix that? Bleeding, only bleeding and poison. Okay, so I don't actually know how that's going to work. Fire damage is applied to each body part at the start of the turn, subtracting armor. actually go down from that. I'm not really sure how I can get rid of it. But there you go, chat. That's why we kind of avoid dealing with them. Go for the body, please. Go. Um, uh, marks for death. 
Can't see them. Oh, I don't need to do that. Uh, let's move up. But yeah, we might need to just evacuate them. I'm not really sure. First time I've encountered fire. It does go down over time, but... It may well just kill them, though. We can try this shot. But first, let's go for that. And another kill, please. I am not going to take this out. But I can certainly do a lot of damage here. Steel on target. Right, so... If I do this, then I'll be able to fire that once, twice, but I'd still be out here, which is a problem. Can't suffer another hit like that. Now, I could pop this through there, but since I don't know where our scientist friend is, that is exceedingly not smart. Hey, Hickson. Hey, oh, HR Charles. Thank you very much for the subs. Right, you're... Yeah, you didn't lose any body parts. Apparently, a med kit does work on fire, though. So, let's give that a shot. Confirm. I just need to catch my breath. Lies! Lies and fibs! Still on fire! I have been betrayed by chat! Moving to coordinates. Who would have thought it? Such intense scallywags. Yeah, congratulations, you're not bleeding. You're still on fire, though, which is a big problem, because if they remain on fire, they're just going to bleed more. Got a lot of hit points, and the, the damage isn't going to stack up too fast, but basically now I need to evacuate them. There's really not much more of an option for me. I mean, this would probably work. It's a lot of will points for it, but... Sure, let's try. I want to watch! That was rude. Didn't let me watch. Couldn't actually see if it did much of any damage at all. Oh, it probably all hit that bloody machine, didn't it? Oh well. But that's the problem, not letting me see it. Scoundrel. Moving now. Uh, on that point, though, looks like I will be able to. A little bit of damage. Not a lot, but it's enough. Standing by. Okay, and turn. Ah! Oh crap. Ooh. I was not expecting it to have that kind of uh, sight range, honestly. Ah! 
Need to get out from all this cover up here. There's much danger. Much danger. Yep, bleeding again. You have got a medkit though. I'll take it from Anubis's backpack. We're gonna move over. Go to heal. Oh wow, that fire went out really fast. Did it only le last for a few turns? Perhaps. No idea. Um, but I can barely move and take a shot at this point. 